Hello and welcome to my channel being you now. Thank you so much for being with me here today. Today I am doing your daily reading and it is no ordinary day. What is going on here? It's a bit of a mess. I had to um, adjust the candle and I think I knocked everything over. Anywho, today is the Aries super moon. So welcome, welcome, welcome and happy super full moon in Aries to everyone that registered for the super full moon ceremony you will be getting a private link with all the details and the ritual and all the things. The registrations closed yesterday. Yes, 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 yes. The registrations are well and truly closed. You can't get into it. Um, I have been announcing it for a little bit. So subscribe, hit the notification bell and be in all the things when they are available. I just want to take a moment and say thank you. Thank you for your continued support to all my OGs, to my subscribers that Continue to like, share, and comment without me asking. You just know the drill. You know how to get more content on the channel and uh, more goods. So I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. And um, thank you. Thank you for being part of this epic community. So let's just see. Because this is a super full moon in Aries, I'm a triple Aries if we haven't met. Let me know. Give us a shout out if you're in Aries or if you have Aries placements in the comments below. I'd like to celebrate with you. This energy is, when we think of Aries, Aries is the emperor in the tarot. And um, it is all about building. It's about creating. It's about solid foundations based on your vision. The emperor is the king of the kings. Why am I sharing all this? I'm just giving you a bit of context of, even if you don't have Aries placements, what this energy can do for you right now, today. It's the 17th and the super full moon is happening here in Australia on the 17th. Depending on where you are in the world, hey, you could be on the 16th, all you know, your time zone. So you can check it all out. There is a link in the description box below. Um, you can check out. It's all free for your leisure. Alrighty, so let's see your super full moon overall energy. I'm working with my delicious deck today. I was called to work with this today. So let's see. What's your overall energy for the Aries super full moon? Anything else? We're going to stop there. This is going to be a reading which we will build on. So let's see. What have we got? Wow. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups, when this comes in, look at that. You've got the healing angel just above that cup. And this cup is handed to you from the universe. You are, there are two big messages coming up. This is a big message of healing for somebody. Great time to be embarking on a healing journey if you've been wanting to get healing. This is about pouring back into yourself, first and foremost. Of course, Ace of Cups can also be a love love offer that is divinely guided and orchestrated. There's a lot of pink. I don't know if you can see. It's a very pastel deck. It's um, it's a very, it, it, it is a very pale pastel de deck. So it's not that the camera is not working. It's a... 4K resolution camera, folks. So it's the B's and E's. But um, what this is saying to me, the way it is, be with the angel just above, that to me is saying you're divinely protected, you're divinely guided, and this offer, this cup is being offered to you, which is from the universe. Now, there is a strong message of healing that's coming through with this. So if you have been wanting to get healing, desiring to get healing, I would absolutely jump on that. Yes, I provide chakra balancing and energy healing. The links are in the description box. This is a great way because what happens with the Ace of Cups is when you are overflowing in your energy and vibe and Emperor is all about, you know, Aries energy is very independent. It desires to create, you know, it beats, it marches on the beat of its own drum. So that's that energy. It's the full energy. So what this is saying here is that when you are overflowing, you will be bringing more abundance, more love, more soulful connections into your life. So this is your current energy right now. Some of you could already be feeling quite romantic or just have met someone new. That's also the Ace of Cups because this is this is to do with you, self, okay? Wow, this is this is unreal. This reading is very simple. Do this and you'll get that. Do this and you'll get that. <laughs> Do this, and you'll get that. Do this, you'll get that. Okay, I'll stop the dancing. I'm just having a bit of fun. 
I'm in the Aries vibe, as you can see, you know, I'm just feeling, I'm just feeling so much like the Aries season. I want to open up Bali again for people that want to do, you know, celebrate their birthdays again, or if you, even if you don't have your birthday and want to join me on an epic tour of Bali. So there's lots brewing in my world at the moment. Anyway, this Ace of Pentacles and this Ace of Cups, two aces in your energy. If you have been wanting to create a business, start a business, something to do with which feels your heart and soul, makes you sing, money will also be coming with it. Sometimes this may not even be a business. You might just be doing you and that's you doing you, you being you. Hello. You being you is going to attract abundance and wealth. I'm loving where this is going. A lot of the times people are like, oh, I'm looking for a job. It's not happening. That's because of mindset. That's because of energy. Something is off. You're not in alignment. This is about alignment. This alignment opens new doors. So this is prosperity, abundance, wealth, all the things. So welcome it. Welcome it. It's jackpot vibes. You're hitting jackpot. Whether in love, whether in money, whether in career, whether in business. Nine of Wands, yeah, Aries energy, Aries Leo Sag, it's time to have fun, it's time to take action. The Nine of Wands is not just sitting there stationary, he goes, he's a go-getter. So be in this, whether or not you're Aries, be in this go-getter energy. But you will, some of you might already feel like you want to change things. Maybe you, you're ch changing the way you eat or you're starting a new exercise or health plan. For others of you, you may have really decided that now is the time to go down the creative path that you've really wanted to, that fulfills you at a deeper level. Others of you, you like getting that second wind. You're like, you know what? I've been looking for a job. It hasn't happened, but I am not giving up. I'm doing something different and I'm starting. And you're going, going with it with all your might and energy. And with that force, there's victory, victory, victory. It's that simple. Okay, so what is coming towards you? I am loving this rate. Let me know in comments. What is coming towards you? What is coming towards you? What is coming towards you? Super full moon in Aries. What is coming towards you? We've got two cards. <clears throat> Eight of Pentacles. You're, you are getting recognized. What is coming towards you is recognition. You have been working hard. You have been mastering your craft. If you are like, oh, being you now, I'm retired, but you must be doing something with your time, right? You might be doing other things with your time. So with this eight of pentacles, whether you're working at a relationship or whether you're working on yourself or in your business, you're getting recognition. That's what this super full moon, super, super full moon is. We have full moons, we have blue moons, we have super moons. Super full moons are much, much bigger and closer to the earth. So what happens is it shines light on areas and it brings to fruition or to the forefront things that we are passionate about things that we're working on that is why we did the powerful manifestation ritual if you haven't got it you'll be getting it what is coming towards you is balance for a lot of you this is balance in your finances balance in your work so say for example if your employer has been saying hey you know you've been working very very hard and you you were coming to the end of a project or whatever the case may be this is they may give they may assign more people to help you to get to that finish line quicker for others of you this could be hey you know you've been working you've put in extra hours take two days off because you've already done that many hours take two days off that's that kind of balance or it could be monetary they may give you a surprise bonus this is the recognition for your work so claim these blessings in comments it's very beautiful energy all right, let's see the outcome, your outcome. I am loving this. I feel like there is outcome. Okay, this one's to come out. We'll see. I feel like there was one extra one, but maybe we've got it. Your outcome. This is, this. you need, you free yourself from illusions. Your outcome is free yourself from illusions. These are all, anything that's blocking you, so what this is saying is in this moon, you know, there are different phases of the moon. If there are things that you can't see, don't give your energy and attention to things that are not working out. They're just self-imposed restrictions. Like really, her hands are not, she can really quite easily untie herself. Look at that. Look at that. 
She can free herself if she chooses to, but she hasn't and remove that blindfold. So that's the thing. That's the thing. It's about illusions. This is all about illusions. So remove what stories are coming up right now. Oh my God, I love this. This is a huge, this is a massive change. Your whole life is about to change. Major endings. That is That explains this outcome. So a lot of you get support during this time. Court cutting is also going to really help because sometimes when we have major endings, why we don't feel truly free is because we still have cords that we can't see. Get energy healing, get support, get counseling, speak to a coach, mentor, whatever it is that you need during this time. Because where your attention goes, that's where the energy will flow. So if you stay here, you'll be here. If you want this, you need to truly free yourself and move forward with this ending. Ten of Swords, that's the ending. And you start with the Ace of Swords again, right? Oh my golly gosh, I love your outcome. This is the time to be bold, birth new ideas. If you are looking to get fall pregnant or wanting to expand your family, this is a great time. This is These are the reasons why I do manifestation rituals. A lot of the times we want things. Now, sometimes, you know, bigger goals like, you want a big promotion or you want to buy your own house or you want to have, expand your family or, you know, some of those things could take months, could take two months, three months, six months or even 12 months, depending on where you are on your timeline. The Empress card is all about birthing. It's about bringing to the forefront. So now is the time to be basking in luxury, in abundance. But you might say to me, oh, being you now, I don't have money. I don't have a job. How can I? You can find lots of ways to be in the energy of abundance. If you keep saying to me that, oh, being, you know, I don't have a job, I can't find a job, then which energy are you telling me? You're telling me that you are in doubt, fear, and lack. And how come Joe Bloggs next to you is getting a job? How come, you know, Bob Smith got a job? Like, you know, it's sometimes we have to really, this is about getting out of your own way. Because there are lots of opportunities and possibilities that are available to you. The Empress, she's the queen of the queen. She has abundance, money, wealth, security, solid foundations, home, house, love. And she is in this major, luxurious, glow-up vibe. So how can you, during this super full moon, be in this glow-up vibe? That's the invitation to you. Let me know in comments what are things you could do. You know, maybe you change your wardrobe, maybe you wear your favorite color, or maybe you go to, you know, and these things, you already have them. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's all about being resourceful, like the Empress. Woohoo! All right, it's really amazing. I haven't touched this deck for a very long time, and today, Divine, in my meditation, was like, you know what? We gotta bring this back, this baby back. This is a Divine Circus deck. I love it. So let's see. Because to me, it's about Aries is childlike energy. So how do we embrace our inner child during this time? And that's why I was talking about those healing, cord cutting too came out. Because that's what we need. All, by the way, I offer all of those. All the links are in the description box. And 50% off phone readings is still on. I don't know when I'm going to pull that plug out. But for now, it's there. So jump on it. I can't make it up. Meant for you. Look at that. And she's holding a flute. But for a minute, on the first glance, someone did comment to me. Sometimes do you see different things in cards than what it is? That is a flute, but it looks like a wand. It looks like a wand. Actually, she's giving me all the magician vibes. And it is number one. Card number one. She's giving me all the magician vibes. With the way she, like, oh my gosh. And the magician in the tarot is Aries energy. All right. Let's see. What's your message? It's such a gorgeous card. I love it. You've voiced your intent, setting in motion, a natural creative process. What you want has been summoned forth and is now headed your way. Don't hesitate. Refuse to receive or pass this gift on to another. It is meant for you. Grab it. Within this new opportunity is exactly what you have been waiting for. What you have been waiting to, wanting to create. What truly makes your heart sing. 
what is rightfully yours or very soon will be right in front of you claim it to so your healing trick is to help you take the wisdom of it put it to best using life now it is to clear obstacles to putting this guidance into place and your affirmation is to everything that is in my heart and all that can help me manifest my destiny with the greatest joy. I say yes, yes, yes. Claim this in comments. This is so good. This is why, I mean, this card actually, everyone, thank you. To, I just want to take a moment to everyone that registered, registered for the Super Full Moon Aries Manifestation Ritual. You said yes to yourself and that's why you registered. This is such a beautiful card for all of you. Even if you didn't register, you can claim this. Yes, yes, yes. This is a reading for you, for the collective, for my subscribers. Look at that. Beautiful. Butterflies are a sign of transformation. So this is saying crown of the butterfly bimbi. Bim, bim, yeah, bimbi. Actually, bambini. Bambini, which is Italian children. In Italian, it's children. Um, a little child. So... What did we say earlier? I'm not going to repeat the message. You got to go watch the raid because I need to respect everybody's time. Okay, so this is just as nature involves, imbues the beauty with an innate ability for radical transformation. Oh, I love this radical transformation. So do you have natural instincts within guiding you to grow in dramatic, utterly life changing ways? Progress is your perfection. Aries needs to hear this. Even if you're not Aries, I think a lot of us get that imposter syndrome a lot of the times. Growth is your attainment. Do you shun what you have been or mistakes you have made? Or instead, do you wear your ability to transformation as a sacred crown of power? Oh, these words are just like tugging at my heartstrings. This is delicious. All right. So your um, healing trick is butterfly medicine, dreamer of impossible dreams. You teach me that no ending is ever as it seems. The ending is the beginning of new life for me so I can fulfill my divine destiny. Give me courage, understanding and flexibility to embrace my transformational divinity. What I have been and who I am yet to be are the creative manifestations of the one true me. I trust in the miracle of radical growth and the magic at work helping me transform into the wildest and most beautiful creature I can be. Oh my goodness. It is safe for me to embrace who I'm becoming. A creature so beautiful, wild and free. Ah, delicious. This is so good. This is so good. Oh my gosh. I am in all the vibes. For those of you that have registered to the manifestation ritual, your video will be coming into your inbox very, very soon. I haven't done the ritual yet. It's, it's, it's a big ritual. Okay. It's happening in parts. And um, by the way, the super full moon in... Australia is not happening till, let me get that time right, uh, time. so it's not happening till evening tonight, but you will get that video in plenty of time to do the ritual and watch it at your leisure. I've received all your information, so thank you from the bottom of my heart for registering. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. It's the power of the collective that makes each and every ritual even more potent and powerful because we all bring our energies together as a collective. So you will be getting that. Check your spam folders as well for those that registered. And for those of you that are desiring healing, um, cord cutting, chakra balancing, or want to hop on a call for a private reading over the phone, 50% off right now. Yep, it's still going on until I don't know when. So I'll see you in in all the things. <laughs> And remember, the power that is you by being you now. I will see you next time.